welcome to bilmet blocks today we will discuss early pregnancy scan we will discuss a very small gestational sac what we will discuss over here not a complete early pregnancy we will discuss over here we will see how the chorionic frontosum is looking like and what is the significance of knowing the area i mean the what is the significance of knowing the chorionic frontosum what for we should know the chorionic frontosum so this is a case of early pregnancy where we are scanning live you can see this is the live scan going on and this is the gestational sac which you will pick on the ultrasound machine the point here is that there are decidual reactions now see this is the decidual reaction which is more hyperechoic over here this is the decidual reaction so the point is this decidual reaction will not be uniform throughout what i mean by uniform at some point it will be more thickened as compared to the other part so the part which is more thickened now see this part is more thickened over here as compared to this part now this part is more thickened than this part i can say that this is the chorionic frontosum so this is the way how you can pick the area i mean the chorionic frontosum the location where the chorionic frontosum is so we know that this chorionic frontosum is developing placenta so this is the site of developing placenta so here the placenta will develop we know that the chorionic frontosum is nothing but a developing placenta now why should i know about the chorionic frontosum because if because if there is because if there is detachment at this level now see if there is detachment at this level i mean at the level of the chorionic frontosum the developing placenta is that more dangerous as compared to this area which is the chorionic leaf yes this is the point so always see your detachment whenever there with respect to the chorionic frontosum i mean the developing placenta because if detachment the hematoma whatever is at the level of the chorionic frontosum that is more dangerous than if it is away from the uh, chorionic frontosum so not only volumes of the detachments are important but more important is the location where the uh, detachment is whether it is at the level of the chorionic frontosum or the chorionic leaf so this was a very brief uh, vlog about the chorionic frontosum i hope that you have enjoyed this for a detailed course we are having the detailed course of uh, early pregnancy and the fetal ultrasound at our server you can visit www.billmed.net or you can contact us on our helpline number 4 times 9 that is double nine double nine thirty four seventy uh, thirty four seventy two forty two. I am repeating four times nine thirty four seventy two forty two. And you, if you are calling from uh, outside India, you have to prefix secondary code that is nine one. Thank you very much.